So I'm a big fan of pumps with skimmers. This is a skimmer. It basically fits inside of the pump and it captures uh, chunks of uh, debris, it captures snails, it captures uh, little fish, it captures just about anything big and solid in your system that could damage your pump. Now most of the pumps that we use, these are pool pumps, um, come with skimmers. And uh, I'm a big advocate of these types of pumps because they're reliable in the long term and they're very inexpensive. And the fittings for them are very easy to find. So you can uh, go just about any spa store um, or hardware store and find fittings for these pumps. They're all pretty standard. So um, I like to use these inline pumps and um, you know they come with skimmers like this. Occasionally uh, you'll have to clean these out. So we basically just uh, they fit in the pump like so and they typically have a covering a threaded a threaded top to them um, that allows you to kind of see down in the pump but it, it fits on like this there's an o-ring there and it seals and then that collar uh, threads on and basically tightens it down so all you got to do is basically take that collar off and take off the top of your uh, your skimmer covering here and uh, Take out your skimmer, and, and this one we just kind of gave a little rinse out a little earlier, but you know, you can see it's pretty clean. A lot of the time you'll pull these out and they'll just be full of gunk. Um, so you want to take the hose and give them a good rinse, um, get that gunk out of there, and uh, it's going to improve the efficiency of your pump. But the nice thing about these, of course, is that it prevents your the impellers in your pump from being damaged by all this hard, uh, big, solid stuff going through your system. So. Uh, if you're thinking about buying a pump, definitely look into pumps like this. We use jacuzzi uh, pumps by and large. Um, they're very inexpensive and uh, they'll do a really great job for you. All right, well, welcome to our video uh, tour of our greenhouse. This behind us is the greenhouse. You can see the fish house here. and We've got our greenhouse kind of heading on an east to west axis there. It's a double layer.